How are you students doing? Okay, we are moving on to another two uh, concepts today on multiplication and division. So let's start with multiplication. So uh, page, on page 102, okay, you will be required to do some simple multiplication questions. Um, personally, I don't think it will be quite an issue, uh, will be an issue for any of you. Okay, the first one, um, you just have to find out the equivalent uh, answers when you multiply by 10, by 100, and 1,000. So uh, I've done the first one for you. It's quite easy. You know, whenever you times 10, you add a zero behind the number. You times 100, you add two zeros behind the number. When you times 1,000, you add three zeros behind the number. Isn't it? It's quite straightforward. So complete the rest. Uh, part two, you're supposed to uh, find an estimate. So what is a good estimate? Um, so first you are supposed to round off the first number and then after that you multiply with the second number. Whether you round off the first number to the nearest 100 or, the, or 10, depending on the number. So I've done the first one for you, 99 times 7. So we round off 99 to the nearest 10. Or some people say nearest 100. So you have 100 times 7. So 100 times 7, you get 700. That's straightforward, isn't it? So moving on to the next part, how do we multiply um, uh, a number with another number related to a multiple of 10. So quite straightforward, whenever we need to multiply a two digit times a two digit number by right, we need three lines, but because it's a multiple of 10, 40 is a multiple of 10, we just need one line to solve it. So again, when you times uh, 10, okay, first the zero is just because it's, it's a multiple of 10, and then uh, four times five is 20, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. Quite straightforward, isn't it? Another example here, 258 times 30. So since it's a multiple of 10, again, I put a 0 there. 8 times 3 is 24. And 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17, so 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So it's 7,740. Okay, complete the rest on your own. I'm sure most of you will not have any issue with this. Just have to be very careful, okay? Okay, next, uh, they also ask you to use mental strategies to multiply by 20, by 30, or even by 40. So the book's method says that, okay, we multiply by 20, you multiply by 10, then double. Multiply by 30 is basically times 10, and then you triple the number. And then um, if you multiply by 40, you multiply by 10, then you double and double again, okay? But um, this is my recommendation. This is my mental process. I leave it to you, to you to decide which is a better mental process for you. Okay, ultimately, you see that there isn't such thing as right or wrong mental process. Ultimately, what is more comfortable for you? For my case, is when you multiply by 20, I'll multiply by 2 first, then multiply by 10. By 30, is multiplied by 3, then by 10. By 40, will be multiplied by 4, then by 10. So for example, 45 times 20, so it would be 45 times 2 times, so 45 times um, 10, which is 450 times 2, which is 900. Okay, my method will be 45 times 20 will be 45 times 2, which is 90 times 10, which is 900. So uh, I leave it to you to decide which is the method that you want, you're going to use to answer these questions in the book. Okay, okay moving on to the next page, 132. So division, so a quick uh, reminder, remember I've emphasized on this before in class, there are three possible rem 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 remainders whenever you solve division. Of course, the, the, the first most one is uh, when there's no remainder, that's the that's a best one, isn't it? But when there is a uh, need for us to re have a remainder, so there are three possibilities. First one, so again, 47 divided by 5 is 45, um, so, which is 9. Um, and then remainder 2, 20 divided by 5 is 5, so the remainder is 3. Yep, this is an outright remainder question. Um, so remainder as a whole number. Next one, what about 478 divided by 5? Again, you work it out. And now, because we have a remainder of 3, we can also put it as 3 out of 5. 3 is a remainder, 5 is the divisor. That's why 3 feet. So exact answer, this is actually an exact answer with a fraction. Okay, 95 and 3 fifth. So what about the last one? So 470 divided by 5 again. Now again, it's the same thing. Now I have a remainder of 3. So what do I do? I continue. 
dividing, I'll get a 0.6 as the answer at the end. So it's 95.6 and this is an exact answer with decimal. Okay, so for the next activity, let's look at the book's example. The book actually requires us to have a remainder as a number. Okay, so you work it out again. So you follow what is required in the book. So I have a remain of um, first part, 780 divided by 10. There's no remainder, it's 78. What about the next one? 974, which is question P. When I divide, I get a remainder of 4. Isn't it? Okay. So do state your remainder clearly if there is one in the activity book. Okay, moving on, they say, oh, you're supposed to use mental strategy. So how do you go about doing that? Okay, in the mental process, let's say part C, 589 in, uh, paper clips into bundle of 10. So how many bundles do you have? So with 589 divided by 10, so straight away, I know that I'll have 58 bundles. Because divided by 10, I just need to move back one decimal place, isn't it? And the remainder is 9. What about another one? Uh, we, this is not in the book. What about you have 6,396 paper clips into bundles of 100. So same thing, 6,396 divided by 100. You move two zeros back. So you have 63 bundles and remainder of 96, isn't it? Well done. Okay, moving on. This is also another mental process that you need to do. So what happens your number set? Have common factors among themselves. So I'm giving you one example, 84 divided by 14. Both of them are, uh, uh, what do you call that, a multiple of 2. Is it? So when I divide by 2, so 42 divided by 7 is 6. Straightforward, isn't it? What about another one, 126 divided by 21. Oh, that's challenging. Oh, maybe I try dividing them by 3. Oh, I actually get 42 divided by 7. Isn't it? I divide by 3 throughout. That's how I get 42 divided by 7, which gives me 6, 2. So again, these are some of the mental strategies that you can deploy when you are um, you know, dividing numbers with another number. So long as you see these two numbers, are, uh, they have common factors, just divide that um, those numbers with their common factor to simplify the process. Okay, that's the end of my presentation today. So do continue with um, the work given on my ad online and also uh, the two pages. Okay, drop me a note if you or on direct message or Teams if you need any help.